Hi there, welcome to Mini Math Lessons with Karen. Today I am looking at graphing polynomial and trigonometric function, functions, but also how do you graph the derivative and do some exploration. So the activities I'm sharing today um, are calculus related activities, though so, you know, algebra two, pre-algebra, I mean pre-calculus as well. And they are all about kind of analyzing um, behaviors. So if you look, this activity right here, um, they're going to be able to express verbally and graphically the behavior of a function and its derivative. So that's sort of the goal of all of these is what do you see? What do you notice? What are different ranges? How's the slope? How's the derivative behaving in those ranges? So you'll notice it's a full on lesson. It has the standards and things to watch out for, mistakes that might happen, vocabulary they're going to be used. There's a how to graph both the function and the derivative, which is what I'm going to be doing in a minute on the FX9860 G2. So you can refer back to this if you need it. And then here's the first activity. So this is just polynomials in general. So basically they're going to uh, draw the graphs of the function, hopefully without a calculator, and then describe what they see. And then they're going to draw the graph and its slope. And they're, they're able to, um, look at the deriv derivative with the, with the calculator at this section and compare them and what are they noticing and let's look at a window, what's the slope's behavior um, in this window. They're trying to get an understanding of what that derivative actually is compared to the function that it's from. So that's the first activity. If we move into the second activity, this is the same basic thing except using a trig function. And in order to use the trig functions, you want to make sure that your graph has been changed to radians for the angle measures so that that shows up. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that on the calculator as well. And that's down here as well in the notes. But you'll notice again, there's um, place for them to draw what they see and what are the intervals that, that what's happening. Um, so it's exploring both the graph of a trig function and its derivative and trying to make some connections. So that's what we're doing and we're using the FX um, 9860 G2 graphing calculator from Casio. But as with most Casios, if you we have several different versions of a graphing calculator and whatever I do on this you can do the same thing in the same steps on those same calculators so if you know one you know the rest so here we are in the FX uh, 9860 G2 I am going to go to the graph menu because that's where we're doing everything and basically I just want to make sure you know how to enter the function but then more importantly how to set up the menu so that uh, derivatives will graph as well as uh, radians so let's go back to this just first one right here where we're just looking at polynomial functions not trig functions um, so hit graph and you hit execute to get into it. Here is the graph you're ready to start typing in your functions. However, since we know we're going to be graphing the derivative, we want to make sure that that's turned on. So to do that, notice you have this setup in yellow above the menu. So I'm going to hit shift and setup. And this takes me to things that I can turn off that relate to the graph menu. So um, I'm going to just use my arrow button here and scroll down to derivative, which is currently off. That is the default. So I want to turn it on. So I'm going to hit F1 here and uh, hit execute. And so now I know the derivative is on. It's going to allow me to do it. So let's just enter a function. Um, let's do a slightly interesting one. Let's use the example here. So I'm going to enter x to the fourth right? minus x third minus x to the third plus one. All right, so this is my function, whatever it might be. I hit execute, that sets it in place. Now I want to also graph along with that function. And actually, let's just look at the function first. Um, so if I hit draw, I'm going to see the function. And this looks like an OK window, so we're going to stay with that. Once I'm in the graph, if I want to get back to where I enter the equations, I hit exit. It takes me back to the window before. So we just saw what the uh, draw looks like of the function, but now I want to also graph its derivative. So to do that, I want to be able to type in the derivative, but notice that's not an option here. So one thing to remember when you're in Casio Windows, if you don't see some things that you think you know you want to do, always hit option because it gives you other options. 
So I could calculate and do a lot of different things. So calculate is what I want. I want to calculate this derivative. So I'm going to select f1, and now I'm going to enter. I want the derivative of the function that's in y1, so I'm going to actually use this variable here that says y, and I want y1, I want that function, and now I'm going to hit execute, and that sets it for me. So now when I hit draw, I'm not only going to see this original function, but then also its derivative. And there is the derivative. Now the nice thing is once you have them you can use uh, trace to kind of toggle back and forth between the two functions, right? So there's that first function and here's its derivative. And I can kind of compare different values of x at the function and at also the derivative and try to make some connections there. I can arrow over and trace through the function and what am I noticing about it? Right. So lots of ways to compare, and that's that's what the activities do. They have them tracing, and what do you see? What between this range and that? What do you notice about um, the slope, the derivative, the function? So that's how we're doing it with trace. Okay. So let's hit exit, and I'm going to delete the um, activities here. So to do that, I'm going to do uh, delete here F1, and then I'm going to go up here and delete F2, and what we're going to do. Um, is now go into this trig thing, same exact thing. So I've already set up the calculator to do derivatives. What I haven't done since I'm working with trig functions is I haven't made sure that my angle is done in radians. So we're going to go back to that menu setup. So remember, I'm in my graph menu, shift setup. I'm going to arrow down till I see angle and see what it's at. Right now it's at degree. So I want to make sure I set it to radians. All right, so I'm going to hit execute. That takes me back. Now I can enter a function. So let's you know, do something simple, the sign of um, x. Right. So I've entered my function. And if you want to see what that looks like, let's hit draw. Maybe we want to change the window. So if I hit F3, I can go to a view window. This is the standard window right now. Maybe I want to use a trig window. That makes a little more sense. So we're going to hit execute. Now let's see what the difference is. Yeah, so I can see it a lot better if I use the trig window because it's a trig function. So hit exit again to get back to the equations. Now I want the derivative of that function. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Since I don't see it here, I'm going to check options. And there's a calculate under F2. And I want F1, the derivative. And now again, I want the derivative of the function that's in Y1. So I'm going to choose F1 to get the Y in there and then just the number one so that it matches my equation. Hit execute and now draw. And we're going to see my original function and my uh, derivative of that function. And now again, we can use trace to toggle back and forth between the two different functions. And so you know you're on a certain one because the function shows up here. And then we can then move our left and right arrows to kind of move along that function and look at different values and explore and understand what's happening. So that's really basic what they're going to be doing. They're going to be doing a lot of exploration and comparing and looking at different um, um, intervals and, and making some comparisons so that they leave with a better understanding of what a derivative is compared to its um, function.